going to do her hair color in the nice and easy number 111 auburn to give her brown hair some reddish tones. We're going to mix the two colors together. Just shake it up and then we can get started. We're doing the last bit of her hair. Starting at the roots, you color the hair, and then you work the color through the ends. Before we curl her hair, put Pantene hairspray for fine hair to lightly coat the hair. Comb it through before we add heat to curl her hair. That'll help lock in the curl. Moisturize your skin first. It'll prep the skin. And we'll do this before you do any makeup. So all of her makeup applications will glide smoothly. Create the minimalist look, starting with the NYX Sahara on, close your eyes, the lash to the crease. The minimalist look won't need anything more than two shades. And then the brown. Open your eye. And we're going to go in her socket. So follow your bone. And just shape the contour of your natural bone. using the number 15 so it'll blend softly and this number 15 brush is by NYX so it's easy to find but see how seamless and simple that looks last to give a little bit more definition we're going to use the same brown but we'll use the number B17 smudge brush Look up on the bottom line just give a little shape but not a lot of color so she looks nice and simple and polished without looking overly done close close your eyes open please We're going to finish her eyes with Doll Eye Mascara. Look straight down. Keep the mascara close to the lash line and wiggle it up for even application. We're now going to apply the Rouge Lipstick to her lips. We already put one shade on, one um, layer on. We'll add another layer just to make it a little richer. A little bit goes a long way. It's highly pigmented. As you can see, I barely brushed the product. And it keeps blending and blending. You can get nice pigmentation without having a lot of gloss. So if you don't like to do a lot of touch-ups, just put a little bit amount on and it should stay put and give you a nice true color. Because it's so highly pigmented. If you want to add a little bit of shine, we'll do the lip gloss in Sunrise with a lot of gloss. So we'll just put a little in the center, just to give the sheen, without having to put it all over so the lips look like they're shiny, without having it drip and without a lot of touch up. And just lightly 
on the upper part of the lip. So her lip looks like it's glossy without it being dripping. To finish her look, we'll dip the blush in the NYX Rouge Cream Blush. Because it's so pigmented, you'll just need a little bit. Pick up a little, pat it on the back of your hand first. So you can disperse it on your finger and then pat it on your cheek area in circular motions. Smile. But a little bit goes a long way, so don't pick up a lot of product because you won't really need it. 